Welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around we're going to talk about how to set up a warning banner on the device and we'll discuss the three different types of available warning banners for you. So from config t, uh, the command is banner uh, and then we have a couple of options here. So MOTD or a message of the day banner uh, displays when anyone connects through a remote access method. Um, so, you know, through Telnet, through SSH, anything like that. Um, and that is, is going to display either with the banner MOTD command or if you just do banner and the, uh, and the delimiting character and start from there, it's going to default to MOTD. So, um, so there's that one. The next one is uh, an exact banner. So when anyone um, does an enable, it's going to display that there, right? So when they go, try to go to privileged exec mode, uh, and lastly, there's an incoming banner. So the incoming banner is a banner that's displayed on the console when anyone tries to remotely access the device. So, for example, when someone telnets in on the console, it's going to show me that incoming banner as well as where they're coming from. So it's going to say they're telnetted from whatever IP address, for example. Um, so as an example here, we'll set up a message. Uh, actually, we'll set up an exec banner. So we're going to do a banner uh, exec, and then what we need to do is give it a delimiting character. So uh, your delimiting character could be anything you want. It should not be a commonly used character. So I'm going to use dollar sign here. And then it's going to tell me to enter my text and end with your delimiting character again, which in my case was the dollar sign. So you can make your banner as complicated or as easy as you want. Uh, you should never start your banner with a welcome. You should start it with a warning or uh, some sort of um, some sort of go away message that that your system's being monitored. Um, you know something like that. If you start your your message with welcome, it may invite people into uh, you know explore around. You should also not reveal any information about your system, uh, company, you, anything like that. It should just be a very straightforward message. Um, so in this case, we will, uh, just for fun, we'll throw in a little bit of ASCII art and, uh, and a little warning message at the end there. Um, so I just pasted that in to make it easier. So as I said, you could do whatever you want as long as it's ASCII. Uh, and then at the end here, we will end with our delimiting character. So we're just going to end with the dollar sign by itself and it's going to throw me back out. So um, if I look at the running configuration, I should see that message right here. So it starts with banner exec with the with the delimiter. It ends with my delimiter. Um, so then, if I drop out uh, and into into user mode and then go back into privilege exec, so I do an enable here. It's going to display my uh, banner as I entered it. So. Um, you know, so that's that's an exec banner, but a message of the day banner works exactly the same, um, and you know, and, and the incoming banner. So they're all configured in exactly the same way. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks very much.